Hello everybody. Today we're going to be photographing a piece of jewelry. Now normally if I were to photograph something like this I would use my softbox here because of the nice light or uh, soft lighting effect that I get with the softbox. Or you can also use a beautiful window light because a window light is nothing but a giant softbox plus you can also add modifiers to it. And I would also use uh, two kicker lights that I have up on top but today we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using a different type of light source that I tried and I used occasionally and I'm experimenting with it yet and it's I think it's going to be the, the coming thing. It's really nice. Uh, this is going to be our main light and this is a CN126. It's got 126 little LED lights in here. So this is mainly a video light and of course I have this on a light stand and a nice thing about this is that you can vary the degree of, of brightness on this light. So this is really nice. So this is going to be our main light and then we're using two kicker lights and I just have them setting down here since our object is is also resting on the piece of foam board that I have here. Now if you're going to photograph something that's going to be higher of course you want to raise these up a little bit by either small light stands or some kind of a stand to set these on. These are nothing but uh, little flashlight work lights. This has 24 LED lights on the front and also has three on the side here. So this is going to be what we call our kicker light. I have one coming in from the top or from the left side and one from the right side. Now Notice, now normally these lights are very, very harsh. And of course I put a diffuser on our main light here. And I also put a PB, actually there's two sheets of PB over each one of these two lights. So I just cut out a small piece. And I know that somebody's going to ask me, what's a PB? Well, a PB is a plastic bottle. This is the PB. And... Uh, I just cut a couple sheets out, put them on each one just to soften the light because otherwise it would be way too harsh. So let's go ahead. So we're going to be using foam board and I'm putting the bracelet down. Another piece of equipment that I'm going to be using is a reflector. And I'm using a small piece of foam board. This is about an 8x10 sheet and I have it mounted onto an easel back so I can just set this any place I want to without having to hold it or it gets it could be easily rearranged and set so it's really simple to work with and my other piece of equipment uh, we're going to be using and just to keep it fair I chose to use this old camera this is my I actually use this quite a bit for eBay items because I love this camera it's a Fuji S2 and this goes back to 2002, I believe, they came out with this camera. And I've owned one since then. And a great, excellent camera. Now, this particular one here has a 28 to 105 millimeter Nikon lens on here. It's not a real expensive lens. It's a 3.5, 4.5 lens. And this is a macro lens, too. So, which is kind of nice, though, in case you want to come in a little closer for jewelry items. So we're going to be using this. Now normally when I do this, like I said, I use my softbox flash, but today we're going to be using the LED lights and I'm going to be setting my camera on the tripod because I'm going to be using uh, ISO 400 and uh, because of the speed or the speed that I'm setting just to make sure I get no camera shake that's the reason I'm putting the camera on a tripod. Otherwise, I'm, I would just handhold it, work real fast, because the, the flash itself is going to be making the exposure. But in this case, we have the incident lights that are coming in. So let's go ahead and take some photos. All right, just so you can see, I'm going to, I'm going to set in my main light and adjust this right about there. Now I'm going to bring in my reflector because this is going to brighten up the dark side, the shadow side, and then you're going to see this in the photos. And we're going to bring our camera in. And like I said, I'm set at 400 ISO. And I have my camera set in case you, you do want to know I'm setting it for uh, 
125th of a second at 6.7 right now. We're going to take just a couple like this on the white background. So this is, I'm going to come in a little closer. See, it's on the tripod, so, so it's very simple. So let's do one that we're going to fancy it up a little bit. Make this one a little bit fancier. Let's do one on a black background. And I'm just going to be using a board that has a black piece of velvet on here. So let's do that. I'm going to set it towards the front. We're going to bring in our reflector again. It's going to come right into the side real close. Yeah. All right, so we got a couple with the black background. All right, let's do one where we're standing the, the bracelet. Okay, we're going to bring our reflector back in again. Now, okay, we got the reflector. I'm going to put the reflector down here. And something I want to show you, you're not going to be able to see it, so I'm going to move the reflector. However, there's going to be cases where you might want to add even a little bit more of a kicker. So I'm just going to bring this light in a little bit closer, and I'm going to handhold it. And I'm going to put it, yeah, I can see the difference. I'm going to bring it in, hold it right about here. To make it a little fancier. So if you have to, you can just handhold this because your camera's on a tripod. Now you can just move around. It's like you're actually painting with light. So you could do that quite a bit on small products because you can see the difference if we're moving that around. And something else that you might want to try is I have this. It's, it's like a light or a a headband, LED headband, and if you put this thing on, I'll show you. So in case you have your hands full, or you want to make like a spotlight effect, this is ideal for that. Now this is a little bit harsh, so if you want to, you can actually soften this up by putting a little bit of a, a diffusing material over here. But let's cut this off. I'm going to show you. So we're going to be using, let me bring these in a little closer. So if you want to make a spotlight effect. Now this is nice here because once it's on your forehead, you can actually adjust this. You could just, so if you turn it on, you can, see, raise it, lower it as you want to. So in case you're hand holding a camera, see how nice that spotlight effect is right now. You can bring it up, bring it down, or you can just move your head around too. So I have it right about here. Bring your camera in. Boom. In fact, let's try one. Let me handhold one. I always like working handheld. It's a little bit easier, much faster. So I'm going to try handholding one. And this is going to be right now our main light. So let's try it out. So there it is. So I just wanted to share that with you. So now I have a, another way of photographing. And these are nice because they're, they're relatively inexpensive. I bought two of these for, I think they were like six or seven dollars. And then uh, these are easy to, to travel with. They're very small, battery operated, and they last a real long time. And they come in all different sizes. I have these two and I just got another one just slightly larger. And I really like using this video light here as well. So I hope this helped you and thank you for watching. For more information on professional photography, please visit www.photofons.com.